Hello, good morning, and welcome to the State in History, also known as TDH. This show is all about the events that occurred to date in years past, both recognized by actual historians, but mainly things that we personally find intriguing enough for us to bring to you. Sohan. Sohan. Okay, well, I guess I'll do this. Oh, there he is. Sorry about that. Uh, so you read the, uh, the beginning of the second paragraph. Oh, yeah, let me get the scripts. Okay. Well, I'll read oh, the my. first part here. The sources of this information come from the smart device application. Today in history? What happened today in history? Historical calendar? And on this day, dot com. Yep. For links to those sources what? and music and anything else potentially interesting, check the underbar of the description below. Anyway, I am A.O. Xander. I am I am Scott. Beach Troublemaker. Yep. And Alice. Alice. I thought it was. Her. I oh. didn't know who is Alice. Yes, yeah, she is. I thought that was. Her. Ah. Anyway, today is Woden's Day, also known as Odin's Day, also known as Wednesday, August thirty first, two thousand twenty two. Let's see here. Yep. Who wants to start us off today in eleven forty two? Here. I suppose I will. All right. So today in eleven forty two, we have possible date for establishment of the. Iraq or Iroquois? Iroquois. Iroquois, sorry. Iroquois. 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 The Howden Sounds. Sansi League. Dispute date, other research places date between 1450 and 1600. That's a Native American tribe, one of the most known. So, at least to me. So okay, cool. uh. Night. Oh! Ooh, no, never mind. We're doing three for three. Yeah. We have, uh. A historic event here in 1745, Jacobi Riesing in 1745, uh, Bonnie Prince Charlie reaches Blair Castle in Scotland. Scotland. That's a Jacobite, uh, the Jacobite Rising. So it's a revolution. The 1.21 gigawatts? Gigawatts? That's a great Scott right there. So. Great. Yes, indeed. Indubitably. We have, we have one of those. That's my word. <laughs> and then we also have in uh, 1837, we have Ralph Waldo Emerson gives his famous The American Scholar speech to uh, to, Faye, uh, to Faye Beta Kappa Society at Harvard College, Cambridge, Massachusetts, declares American literary independence from Europe. Wow. Okay. So, and I'll do 1886. All right. In 1886. Crocker Woolworth National Bank is organized. That's interesting. I was gonna say before yeah. though, like uh, Alice, you read that in Latin. You said something beta, whatever. The American scholar. Oh no, you read it. Phi beta kappa. Okay, you read it too fast. Like I, I was trying to keep up. Oh, sorry. Okay. Yeah. Anyway, no, my bad. Go ahead, uh, Mr. Sohan. Well, let me go back to the 1886 Crocker no, no, no. Woolworth National. Okay, then I can skip ahead. 1888. Yeah. The body of Jack the Ripper's first victim, Mary Ann Nichols, is found in Whitechapel in London East End. There's that picture again. Yeah, that's haunting. That's a dead body right there. Ooh. Yeah. She got ripped to shreds by Jack the Ripper. Yep. Dude. Wait, so the other one was a prostitute he killed. Uh, they are. No, they, they all he, were. He killed they prostitutes. Yeah. Yeah, they all were, I believe. Yes, they were, and also a. You know what? One of these vic, like one of the uh, possibilities was H. H. Holmes. Ah, uh, yeah. An American, yeah. Yeah. But uh, uh they found out who it was. Jack the Ripper has been solved. Oh, it has. He was, I think, a Hungarian butcher. Uh, okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, oh. I think so. you can look it up and find out. But they, they said they think they've cracked two of Jack the Ripper. Was. Uh, Jack. Also. Why I do that research, I'm gonna tell you about 1897. British General Kitchener Army occupies Barber North of Karatom. Uh, Karatom. Okay. Interesting. I've heard of Karatom. Yep. I don't know where though. And that is <laughs> our three. Uh, let me check out Karatom really quick. Where is Karatom? And um. Uh, capital of Sudan, okay. Uh, what do y'all get a con artist? 
Uh, yeah, I see here, uh, Alice, like, researchers uh, say they have finally unmasked Jack the Ripper. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Uh, a forensic investigation published in Journal of Forensic Sciences has identified the killer as Aaron Kosminski, a 23-year-old Polish barber and prime suspect at the time. Sorry. Yeah. Barber, butcher, all the same. Actually, well, so. Well, I mean, barbers were more like surgeons in those times. Yeah. So wait a minute. Does this mean that this guy's like, uh, basically, um, actually, no. Like, he's in London as well. Uh, so he's basically, uh, what you like, what, what, the, the, the demon barber of Fleet Street. Like, what's that guy? You're about Sweeney Todd. Yeah, Sweeney Todd. Todd. So this guy's like another Sweeney Todd, except he only killed yeah. prostitutes. Yeah. Yeah, a murderous barber. That's, that's frightening. So. Anyway, Scott, it's your turn. Oh, you got this guy. Oh, well, shit, you missed yeah, one. Yeah, one of your Wait, not we missed favorite one? guys. We missed one in 1864. Uh, no, we didn't. Wait, 1864? Oh. Yeah, campaign, the Battle of Jonesboro, Georgia, uh, Georgia 1900 casualties. Oh, uh, well, we didn't miss it. It's not highlighted. You, you gotta say something if it's not highlighted, Alice. I finally got my website up so I can oh. look at it, so. Okay. Yeah. You, you're scrolling too quick for me. Oh, I, I'm sorry. It's okay. I'm gonna get off the stream here so that I can actually see stuff. So. All right, Scott, 1897. 1897. Thomas Edison patents the kinetoscope, or the kinetographic camera, a device which produces moving pictures. So the first, basically, video camera. Yeah. No, I, I thought it was that one thing the nearby. I thought it was oh. that thing you put the quarter in and sp turn. Uh, this is the camera. Um. Actually, no, this is not the camera, the kinetic. I think Sohan may be right, because we've talked about this before. Yeah. He did. Yeah, it's the it thing like you put the quarter in. Kind of like a flip book. Yeah, he's, he's right. Yeah, you look into it, and you, like, spin a thing, and it, it plays, you know, a movie through, like, a little visor. A Nickelodeon. Yeah, like, uh, like Nickelodeon. But they're a call a back to the Nickelodeon. Huh. Have you seen a flip book before? Yes. Yeah. yeah. I think it's related. Uh, kind of, sort of, like... It's the same thing as watching a movie, because uh, I have a picture up on here on my stream. Um, and actually, here's a better picture here. It's a whole film reel, but, like, it's, like, you know, it's, uh, I don't know how to how to explain it. Um, like, it's, it's like a personalized movie. Like, because you right. look through, like, a little, a little thing. Instead of, like, looking at a screen like we do today, like we know, like, you look through, like, a little, um... You just show what a kinetoscope looks like, real quick. I, I, I'm showing it. Uh, I'll actually. Uh, uh, I'll post it in Michaelis here. For you. Oh, okay, yeah, I've seen one of those before. I've seen yeah. one of those devices. Yeah, one of those. You look at it through yeah, the top. Oh. Anyway. 1910, Theodore Roosevelt makes a speech in Kansas advocating a square deal or property shall be the servant and not the master of the commonwealth. Alright. Square deal. Let me look yep. this up here. Theodore Jeez. Roosevelt square deal. Speaking of which, fun fact about uh, Roosevelt, he used to invite people to the White House to box them. <laughs> yeah. He did. Ooh, 1911, you should read that one, Xander. Uh, before that, though, uh, Theodore Roosevelt Jr., also known as T.R. in the public, but never to friends his family as Teddy, uh, was the 20th... Okay, so it's just telling me about that, but, uh... Well, it's just telling me... To, okay, Square Deal is a book by Theodore which, Roosevelt. Which, which one, Alice? Uh, uh, the black one, the Sullivan Act. Okay, yeah, that's interesting. Go ahead, Scott. I did. Hey, it's in 1911 right. here. Got it. 1911, the Sullivan Act, requiring New Yorkers to possess licenses for firearms, small enough to be concealed, comes into effect. Okay. Yeah, that's pretty cool. That's I don't pretty know what that has to do with the, like, Second Amendment, or... Uh, you know, well, the thing is that you're required to have a license to carry. Yeah, well, with, concealed... Uh, this is not just to carry, this is concealed carry. Yeah, concealed carry, yeah. You have to have a license to do that now. This is the first ever concealed carry, you know, pretty much, in a way. Uh, yeah, beginning of like you know, Second Amendment, whatever's adjustments. How um, <laughs> just adjust. Let's see, first concealed carry law. Let's see here. Uh, Sorry for you here for a second. I gotta 
blow my nose. I can find my just take tissue paper. I'm trying to see uh, the first concealed carry. Um, we have constitution. Oh, those are bands, but that's uh, constitutions of Missouri, North Carolina, and all that stuff. Um, yeah. First concealed law ever. Let's see here. Uh, okay, yeah, the state of New York passed the Sullivan Act in 1911 that required a license to possess a concealable firearm. And that's when I get a first concealed carry law ever. So, so uh, Alice, you may be right that that's the first one. So, yep, it is. Yep. Indubitably. <laughs> indubitably. Why do you have to use my indubitably? Because it's, it's, it's a dubital, but Lee as well. I don't know. <laughs> Moving up into 1917 in China, Sun Yat-sen and his supporters rump parliament, establishing military government and elected Sun Yat-sen as commander-in-chief. The, the rump parliament. The and rump parliament. What year did you say that was? 17? 1917. So. Chao Young-fat, you mean? Uh, Sun Yat-sen. That's that was Chao Young-fat. That is an actor. I know. I was making a joke. I know. A oh. really bad joke. <laughs> and moving on up into yeah. 1923, Mussolini. Bad lieutenant. Uh, 1923, Mussolini ordered the Greek government to apologize for the deaths of an Italian general and his staff on the Greco-Albanian border. Damn, there's been a lot going on with Mussolini. It's yeah, well, fast as I is. You missed a 19 one. I just noticed it was actually kind of because it goes with World War One. 19 what? 1919. Uh. Petliuria's Ukrainian army kills 35 members of a Jewish Jewish defense group. Ah. Dang. An attack group. Me. And then at the same day, uh, Ukrainian Petliuria army recaptured Kiev. 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 Yeah. Yeah, I'm sorry. All right. Well, it was your turn anyway, uh, Alice, and so that was your two right there. Two of my three. Hang on. Yeah. Let's see here. Oh, we got some historic events here. Um, okay, we got Mussolini. We got a world record yeah. here, 10,000 meters from Pavo Nermi. Uh, he was a runner nicknamed the Flying Finn, um, apparently, and it, it was 30 minutes, six seconds, six point two. Yeah, 30 minutes, six point yeah. two. So he ran. Uh, he ran 10,000 meters in slightly over half hour. Like barely over a half hour. Yeah. That's World it. record. World record. So hey, the flying fin. The flying fin. Yeah, I wonder if he's finished. Man, he looks like a funny duck. No mustache. Probably. Uh, kinda like I don't know. No. No. No, I don't see it. Uh, Sohan has an interesting one in 1925. There you go. Anthropologist Margaret Margaret Mead first arrived in Samoa. Ah. So the study of bones. Yeah. Yeah. Huh. Samoa. I was talking to somebody uh, the other day. He's a he's into ichthyology, which is the study of fish. What? I was talking to someone the other day in another server's VC. And I think it was uh, I think it was Gray. I'm not sure, but he's uh, he's into like oceanography and ichthyology, and ichthyology is the study of fish. So. Well, I hope he doesn't smell like. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Bertrand and Kurt Whaley's play with musical the Three Penny Opera premiered at the theater at the theater AM. Tiff Bauer down Berlin. Ah, look at that haircut. Like, that's weird. And those those glasses, like, do you see that? They're not, like, round. They kind of, like, point out, like, a female. Feminine glasses. You see that? Kind of looks like Roger yep. Stephen. Huh. But without gray hair. Yeah. <laughs> okay. And 1929, committee chaired by Owen D. Young finalizes the Young Plan. To reduce German reparations from World War One to twelve, no, one hundred and twelve billion gold mark, which is the equivalent of eight billion U.S. dollars, paid over fifty-nine years. Holy <coughs> shit! Yeah, wow, and that's a reduction. 
Jesus, we... Deutschmark before, uh, before they became yeah. Euros. Yeah, well, like, this yeah. is 1929. This is, like, uh, one of the lead-ups to the Second World War. Like, we reamed Germany, honestly, really unfairly when you look at it, because, like, Germany was... You know, yeah, they were part of, like, the Central Powers, but, like, you know, they didn't deserve to be just kicked, you know, curb stomped that hard, you know? That was ridiculous. Yeah, it was a precursor to uh, leading up to World War II, but, I mean, there was many other things at play going on, too, so, within Germany. Yeah. Well, speaking of leading up to World War II, Mr. Scott, you have a really interesting one here. 1935 FDR signs an act pro prohibiting export of U.S. arms to belligerents. Wow, so if you're angry and com combative, you can't get any arms. You can't get any weapons. <laughs> yeah, but despite that, we still, you know, sent uh, one of the belligerents, the Allies, we sent them stuff, so it's more politics and lying and all that crap. Because, like, the belligerents are both sides. So we weren't supposed to be doing anything, but we did. That like, feels like... Just a subjective term. Damn! Holy shit! Look at the one right here, 1935 FDR. Like this one's holy shit. That's a lot of fucking coal, man. Yeah, you see the same thing, are we? You're looking at 1935, the Russian yes. miner. Yeah. Oh my god. Look a jackhammer. Yo, Scott, take this one. Hmm. The only thing I could say to that is that coal was not that hard to get if they're using a jackhammer for six hours. But okay, 1935, Russian miner Alexei Stek Steknov digs 102 Steknov. tons of coal in under six hours using a jackhammer. Dang. <laughs> you know how you know much tons of coal that is? 106 or 102. Right That's a rich vein right there. Yeah, it must have been a loose vein. Um, unfortunately, he probably didn't even pay, get paid for that shit. Uh. So be youngin', you know. Yeah. Ooh, there's a good one in 1940, the first one. That was kind of interesting, oh. too, but I mean. 1940, the first yeah. edition of illegal opposition newspaper Free Netherlands. And then at the <laughs> same time, German occupiers in Netherlands began the soap rationing. Oof, yeah. Uh, no cleaning for you. No comrades. Oh, yes. oh wow. Uh, oh wow, there's several, man, I, I, I don't want to start spinning off, but there's, like, I'm looking at these, like, I'm going to take these other two mm. here, and then we got to focus okay. on the, on the, there's, there's a lot in the 40s here. Yeah, 1940 as well, uh, Royal Air 5 Fighter Command lost 39 aircraft against Luftwaffe was 41. Damn, holy shit. Yeah, and then 1940, the U.S. National Guard assembled. Yep. So, like... Yeah. I, I oh, believe, oh, like, yeah. you was, should probably look that one up. When yeah. was the U.S. National Guard established? Uh, December 13th, 1636. Holy shit. Um, so, like, this is not the formation of the National Guard, but this is them assembling, you know, probably as, like, a defense thing. Because, you know, oh, the World war, war by 1940, the war was already, you know, well underway in Europe, and you know it's, things are not looking good. So, Miss mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Alice. All right, I got a couple here that are in uh, the 40s as well. Still, uh, we have um, in 1942 the battle at Alam Halfa, German and Italians assault. Huh. Uh, same day, same year. Uh, in 42, U-boats sink and damage 131 Allied ships this month. Uh, six. 639,946 tons worth of cargo and supplies and metal. stuff. Yeah, that's yeah. that's a yeah. lot. To the bottom of the yeah. top of the cargo, yeah. Unrestricted submarine warfare. Hey, I'm going to uh, skip the one first 1943 and do the second one, though. Um, Japanese occupiers intern Jewish congregation at Sorabeo. Huh. Alright, where, where is Sorabao? Sorabao. Sorabao. It might be like Sorabao, yeah. Uh, it's in Indonesia. Oh. Yeah. So, so some well, Jewish people got out in, even out in uh, Indonesia too, so. Huh. Huh. Well, okay. 1945, the Liberal Party of Australia is founded by Robert 
Minis. Menzies. 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 All I can say is liberals. Frenzies. Menzies are all dead. Menzies. 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 of the Netherlands. Oh. Celebrate a golden jubilee. I tell you what, I tell you what, I tell you what, boy, we're in 1946. Well, I'll tell you what, boy, you need to pay attention. Yeah. Okay, Foghorn. <laughs> 1946, Four Call Lake on Warner Brothers cartoon character created by Robert McKinson and Warren Foster, Looney Tunes and Mary Melody's series first debuts in Walkie Talkie Hockey. <laughs> Well, I said what? I said what? I said what, boy? That must be including the chicken hawk. Yeah. Say, I'll say. Yo, that chicken hawk was retarded. Yeah, pretty he much. was. He was. Believing the dog was a chicken. Yeah. Uh, I think it's Scott's turn now, right? I don't know. Yeah. No, so no, I, mean, I got one. So I was one more. Yeah. Uh, uh, okay, 1948, Queen, Queen Wilhelmina of the Netherlands celebrates her Golden Jubilee. Alright. Golden Jubilee. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I was pretending to be Jubilee from X-Men. Oh. 1950, Dodger Gil Hodges hits four home runs and a single in a game versus Braves. So, wow, that's, uh, that's a good yeah. game right there. Yeah. So, he was... It doesn't say how many at bats he had, but that's four home runs and a single, so he could be five for five in that. Maybe. Oh God! I first yeah, I thought I saw Ted Kaczynski, but it was baseball. I was like, what is Ted Kaczynski in baseball? I saw that too at more, the same more, time. I wanted to say, what the fuck does the Unabomber got to do with this? <laughs> oh, I was looking like Ted Kaczynski. Oh, it's cool. <laughs> <laughs> literally, Alice, literally the same exact time I saw that, and I'm like, what the fuck, Ted? And I, I was looking at it again, I'm like, oh, and then you said that, I'm yeah. like, oh, then I'm not the only one. <laughs> like, That's <laughs> not the Unabomber. Unabomber is <laughs> No wonder why he started bombing. He, his career went down. <laughs> he was stealing home. <laughs> oh my gosh. Blowing up home. Uh, Blowing up home. Uh, that was right. Scott's turn, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Guess, or, or oh yeah, it is. Right. You already did one. Wow, my brain is like not working. 1957, Federation of Malaya gains independence from Great Britain. Hello. Nice. Hello. The father Hello. of mother yeah. of Malaysia. Ooh, another baseball on, one, one for the baseball guy. Oh, Andy Colfax. All right. Oh, damn. 1959, Sandy Koufax breaks Dizzy Dean's National League mark of 18 strikeouts in a game. And there's only 27 outs in the game, so he almost struck everyone out. Hell yeah, he almost did. Oh! <laughs> 1960, dude. 1960? <laughs> 1960. 1960, uh, the U.S. sweeps the medals in the shot put at the Rome Olympics. Bill Nieder won gold with 19.68 meters ahead of countryman Perry O'Brien and Dallas Long. Is that what you wanted me to read? I no, I was talking about the first one. The, the oh, Agricultural Hall of Fame. Oh, yeah, <laughs> I didn't know there was a Hall of Fame for him. The 1960 as well. The Agricultural Hall of Fame formed. Well, that's interesting. Like, yeah. Here we have. Robert you know, would, would, Hey, hey, Xander, would you mind? Xander, would you mind looking that up? Like, wh how do you get in the Agricultural Hall of Fame? Yeah, I was just thinking that myself. Agricultural Hall of Fame. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm just curious. 1868, uh, there's a huge death count. Uh, all right, we'll get to that here in a minute. Criteria and Procedures nominees for the Hall of Fame. Um... Yeah. The nominee must have made important contributions to the establishment, development, advancement, or improvement of agriculture in the United States. The value of these contributions is a primary uh, criterion. Uh, the nominee should have promoted and demonstrated the values and dignity historically uh, associated with the American agrarian lifestyle. 
and the nominee's achievements must have had a national effect or impact. This does not necessarily mean that the nominee must have been associated with a national organization or movement, nor does it rule out a working farmer as long as the efforts were truly national and impact. Okay, well, that's interesting. Xander. Yes. Hey, Xander, guess what? Chicken butt. Well, if the uh, players in baseball can't get into the Hall of Fame with steroids, I would say if you're going to use GMOs, you should not be in the Agricultural Hall of Fame. I agree. Bill Gates is going to be in the Hall of Fame next year, guarantee. Oh, fuck. Guarantee they're going to put him. He better not be. He better not be, I know. But you were saying something about a body count? 1968. 1968? Oh, wow. 12,000 die in a 7.8 earthquake that destroys 60,000 buildings in northeast Iran. Holy shit. That's a lot Stop of that. death. Wow. Oh, Jesus. Also today in history for 1968. <laughs> you want to know something horrible? What? 1968. 1968? What else? Music history. Ah. Uh, 12,000 die? Yeah. Yeah, I think it's yeah. Alice's turn now. Yeah. Oh, shit. Well. Give her me 1968, Private Eye Magazine reports John Lennon and Yoko Ono album will have a picture of them nude on the cover. Hey, and you remember this? Yesterday, Sandra, him and Yoko Ono, are, John Lennon and Yoko Ono did their last, like, full concert. Yeah. Yeah, their last oh, one. Oh, damn. I'm just... Hard music is <laughs> fucking horrible. What? Do you think about the rooftop show with the Beatles where they're on the rooftop performing and it was the last live performance they ever did? No, we're talking Probably. about between uh, between Yoko Ono and John Lennon specifically. They had their own little concert. So I don't know where it was. Maybe it was the rooftop. Uh, I don't know. Uh, but it wasn't the Beatles. It was those yeah. two. Like, this was after her, the Beatles. Her music is fucking horrible. Horrible. <laughs> yeah, I'm just sitting here staring at the Xbox logo behind her, like it's looming over her, you know? Yeah. A Xbox coming to get you. <laughs> Dude, I would rather stick a dick in my ear than hear her fucking sing. Fucking. Damn. Why don't you go to Peter Griffin then? Yeah. Alice. Alright. We have, uh, I have another one here. Well, there's two. There's one in. There's there's another John Lennon one here in 71, but I'm not going to read that one. I'm going to give that one to uh, Sohan. But uh, in 1970, uh, Malakers, Malakers occupied the Indonesian ambassador's home in Owasanar. Holy huh. shit. What is That's a Malakers? Yeah. Malakers for the Malakers. And then also in 1971, uh, not 1970, uh, a year later to the day, uh, gave carry into allegations of brutality by the security forces against those interned without trial in Northern Ireland is announced. Ooh, so that sounds like the Troubles, right there. Yeah, that yeah sounds, it, is. it sounds pretty saucy there. Baby got sauce. Swassy. So the Malukans are uh, the uh, Austronesian speaking and Papuan speaking ethnic groups, uh, Indonesia's to the Malaku Islands. Um, in Indonesia, so yeah. they, they were like they were uh, uh, ethnically uh, like uh, you know the the people of that area. They occupied uh, that guy, so maybe he was like um, colonizer was or something. A, I have no idea. He was being a douche canoe, so they occupied his home. Essentially, yes. Yes. Nineteen. 71 Beatle John Lennon leaves England for the first well, for the final time moving to New York City. New York City. <laughs> yeah. You're welcome, but you can keep that whatever the fuck that your dog away from New York City. What? Oh. I call her Yoko Ono a fucking dog. Oh, oh, oh my wow. <laughs> I, I hope she's Yoko, not Oh no. Yoko Oh no. She's still alive, so I, I I don't want her to attack us. <laughs> no, yeah, I like I have no feelings for her. No, I'll tell this that bitch to a rap battle, and I can barely rap. Damn. Damn. And you know, we should send Tim Shitsby. <laughs> yeah, him on the yeah. on the stage. Okay. Oh, yeah. himself. Yeah. Okay. Tim, now you do the rap against Yoko Ono. Yeah. 
1972 American four by twenty mi oh four times twenty two hundred. <laughs> Why it's not two hundred? Why it's not like a damn math equation? I, I don't know. <laughs> uh, freestyle relay team of John Kinsella, Fred Taylor, Steve Git Ginter, and Mark Spitz swim a world record seven minutes thirty five seconds point eight. 78 seconds. <laughs> oh, what the fuck. <laughs> to beat West Germany for the gold at the Munich Olympics. Oh my god. Oh yeah. This is all. <gasps> Dude, we're gonna come across the. What was it? The. Yeah. Munich. Yeah, Munich no, we, we already yeah. talked about this yesterday. It's coming up. Like December, September 3rd or 4th or something. So. Oh. Yeah, yeah the Palestinian mm -hmm. thing is coming up soon. Yeah, it's coming up. It's fastly approaching. Also, 1972, Soviet gymnast Olga Kobut wins balance beam and floor exercise gold medals at the Munich Olympics. Follows gold in the teams all around. Damn. Like, anybody yeah, find... she was popular. Yeah. I, I, how old was she, though? Because I'm looking at that picture and she, she dead. She looks like the... She's kind well, of... They look young. Yeah, she's kind of flat. She looks really young, so... Well, well, a lot of gymnasts, uh, they don't have generally big yeah. needs to begin with. She you was gotta born be... in 1955, uh, so this is 72, so she's almost 30 years old. Holy crap. She's like 20-something, 20 28 or something. So... 22. Okay. No, 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 no. It's 70... No, in 77... Age 30, I mean 22. She retired. So. Hold on a Clear. Hold on. 72 minus 55. Hold on. Damn it. 72 minus 55 equals. She was. Oh, she was 17. Okay, I was way off. I, I don't know how to math. Okay. She's only 17. I was waiting for you guys because I already have the answer, but I was like, my. Well, why didn't you say the answer? I just wanted to listen to you guys bicker about it. Ah. Because we don't spoil. We don't spoil movie. <laughs> yeah. All we spoil Maybe. is our dinner. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, only spoilers are in the back of our cars. Oh, uh, true. Ooh, dude, 1976, something interesting happens. Yeah. The first one. It's Scott's turn. Mm. Which one? You talking the about the peso? Before. Trinidad and Tobago adopts constitution? No, the one before that. Yeah. Oh. They're both good, actually. They're both yeah, good, really. Good. Mexican peso devalued. Well, that's uh, not good. That's not good. That's unfortunate. Mexicans, Mexicans, Mexicans. <laughs> that is how yeah, important. I wasn't going to say it, Xander. I wasn't going to say it. <laughs> Don't worry, I'll do it. You're good to leave. It doesn't apply in this conversation, but I had to say it. In deedly do, zippity doo da. <laughs> my, oh my, what a wonderful day. Uh, Scott, what else happened in 1979? Okay, 1979, in the Battle of American Teenage Tennis Prodigies, 16 year old Tracy Austin beats 14 year old Andrea Yager 6 to 2, and then 6 to 2 in the second round at the U.S. Open. Dang. Yeah, Jaeger. 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 Like Jaeger. Jaeger. Yeah. yeah. So she's her. So her name is Andrea Hunt, Hunter, pretty much, because Jaeger's Hunter. Uh, well, clearly she didn't have the moves like Jaeger because she lost. So got, got the moves like Jagger, You know, I don't know. This is why we smoke. Yeah, she got no, pretty no. good. Sixty-two. We got a Jaqua coming up here, dude. Mm. It's a French Jaqua. Uh, where? 1983, 40th Venice Film Festival of the first name, Carmen, directed by Jean-Luc Godard, wins Golden Lion. The Golden Lion! I don't know. <laughs> the Pegasus. Hey, there's a, a boxing title here in 84. Huh. Let's not take it. Well, that's oh. like when Mike, Mike uh, Tyson oh, is not okay. prolific yet. Pink Lady Thomas beat Tim Witherspoon in 12 for heavyweight boxing title? Huh. Yep. Come on, who doesn't love a good boxing match? I, I, I would prefer a chess boxing match myself. 
so. Oh, God, yes. Yeah, dude, so I remember that? Like, I was so freaked out, like, like holy crap, that's a thing! Like, it's real! Why don't they just send all today's politicians into a boxing match? That, boxing match that'd be popular. Why don't they just send all today's politicians to go fight for the wars that they start? True. Yeah, if, if the person who put the bill in has to box like an, the opponent, the other party, and if that opponent who uh, w if they win the boxing match of twelve rounds, um, then they get to have the bill like go through to the Senate. You know, fight for what they believe in. Maybe we should start writing a new constitution. Ooh, we could. Here's something famous. 1985, Angelo or uh, Angel uh, Cordero Jr. became the third jockey to ride horses, earning over 100 million. Nice. But yo, here's another. Here's here's another thing. In 1985, Night Stalker suspect that terrorized California. Captured in East Los Angeles. Ooh. Oh, ho, ho. Yeah, yeah they, they they chased his ass and beat the shit out of him. Dang. That's oh. not that other. Who is the Night Stalker? Because I Richard Ramirez. Yes, yeah. there you go. Yeah. yeah, they chased his ass and beat the shit out of him. Oh, they Dang. did. 1986, Russian cargo ship crashed into the cruise ship Admiral Nakimov. Causing the deaths of 398. Wow. Damn. Ooh. 1987. Yeah. 1987, my year. Michael Jackson's Bad video premiered on CBS TV. Who's bad? Who's bad? You know I'm bad, I'm bad. You know I'm it. sorry, but that's a very feminine looking picture. Well, well Michael, Michael Jackson. Jackson, so... I'm just saying. Yeah. It's Michael... Yeah. Anyway, Miss Alice. God damn, man, 1988. Holy shit, my year. Ooh. Okay. Alice, you take 1988. No, I will after I'm just gonna be a second. Oh, then I'll take 1988. Bomb attack no. on Office of South mm -hmm. Africa Council of Churches. Well, I was oh. looking I was looking at 1987. Oh. I'm sorry. So no, yeah, I was looking, I was, because I was like, hmm, I was also seeing what two things happened, so, um, in 1987, uh, Africa's longest mine strike in history finally ended. Ooh. Uh, oh, and then we also have, in 1988, we have a bomb attack on Office of South Africa Council of Churches happened. Yeah, you missed so the other 87 here, though. That's interesting. Oh, the 87, the great, uh, the great potato incident? Oh. Yeah. So, we also have uh, the Great Potato Incident, Minor League William Williamsport Bills catcher uh, Dave Brechanon, Brechanon, never gonna say his fucking name right, attempts to lure an opposing base runner up third base using a potato carved to look like a baseball. Umpire calls runner safe, and the catcher is fined $50 and released by the team. Oh my what? god. Wait, yeah. he flew a freaking potato? No, no, yep. he, he, no, he had a potato and it made, well, oh, gee, yeah, did he throw it because it, he was using it to make it look like he had the ball. Yeah, he was attempting to lure him like he had the ball. That is ridiculous. Wow. God damn. Also, yeah. 1988, five-day blackout in yeah, downtown just, Seattle begins. Oh, that sucks. Yeah, that's what I was also going to say, too. I was looking right in between right there, all the 88s and stuff, but yeah. Oh, then you also have the arbitrator, George Nicolau. Rules owners conspired against free agents, which I don't know who George Nicolau is. Huh. Well, like, arbitrator for what? Because, like, there's another arbitrator here in 89. Arbitrator. He ruled, he, no, he's arbitrator George Nicolau. Rules owners conspired against free agents. I'm assuming it has something to do with, like, sports or something. Yeah, so it sounds, like, uh, it sounds like the owners were, like, you know, you know, going against rules and regulations. And then he ruled that they were doing it, so it was like a, a court thing, I don't know, or like whatever. Yeah, yeah. And, and actually to the day a year later in 89, you have uh, arbitrator T. Roberts orders owners to pay $105 million for collusion or some shit. Oh, wow. Which I, yeah, I don't know. So that's it's probably the same thing. Yeah, like... I'm assuming it has to because it's like a year to the day, so I mean... Yeah, because collusion, you know, because the owners are conspiring and that is collusion. They're... You know... Yeah. I'm sorry, mm -hmm. but this 1991 is a pretty cool one for me. 
<laughs> but first thing first, 1990, uh, baseball outfielder King Griffin, and uh, King Griffin Jr. becomes the first father and son to play on the same team, Seattle Mariners. The pair hit back-to-back -back singles in the first inning and both scored. God That's damn. That is cool. That is cool. Yeah. That is the American dream incarnate right there. Father and son playing catch. Now you're on the diamond. You know, wow, that's mm -hmm. awesome. Yeah. Man, you can't get more American than that. You know, like, unless there's like an apple pie somewhere, you know, or maybe something exploding. But like, other than that, like, that's, that's it right there. That's the dream. And... 1991, William H. Webster ends term as 14th director of the CIA. Uh, also, like, if you look at 91, Richard Kerr ends his term as deputy director, too. Uh, so. Yep, Richard Kerr cool. ends his term. Okay. Yeah, but he was, he was a judge, FBI, and CIA director. Oh, wow. <laughs> so he was on the Supreme Ooh. Court. And my last one is 1992, dynamite explosion in a mine in the Philippines kills 500. Oh, dang. No big catch there. Nitroglycerin, man. Yep. Not some safe stuff. I'll be right back. So don't give me some coffee. Alright. Coffee. 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 Squat. 1993. <laughs> 50th Venice Film Festival Shortcut, directed by Robert Buckman and Steve Collins. Directed by Christoph Kielowski, jointly awarded by Golden Lions. The Golden Lion! <laughs> oh, dude, look, there's a Minnesota Twins one on here. Ooh. I, like, the 93s actually all look really good. Yeah, hey, Alex, do you remember Kirby Puckett? Yeah. So yeah, we talked about him the other day. He, he was one of the best twins. Yep, he was. Well, can't forget about Kent Herbeck. True. And you know, uh, Killebrew, he was he was good too. But no, you should do all these ninety threes right here, Scott. Seriously, they're uh, pretty good. Well, like even David Ortiz started on the twins. Okay, um, all of them. Go for it. Yeah, do it. Not, 1993, HMS Mercury, the Royal Navy's communications training establishment, closes after 52 years in commission. Wow. Ooh. Yeah. It's a long time. Great. That's awesome. Um, so, also, the Minnesota Twins beat Cleveland Indians 5-4 to four in 22 innings. Wow, that's, that's, a, that's long a long game. Long. Yeah, that's they're called the Guardians now. Get with it. <laughs> <laughs> du -du 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 You're gonna be speaking diagonally. Hmm, <laughs> <laughs> that again. Holy shit. <laughs> but yeah, I think the last 1993 one is really fucking interesting. That is interesting. Too. Go for it, Scott. Oh, yeah. oh my That's god. That's almost like three games. Okay, 1993, Venezuela President Carlos Perez flees. Ah. Uh, Venezuela. <laughs> Venezuela. <laughs> Venezuela, the California oh my God. of the South. <laughs> so, 1994, Pentium Computer defeated World Chess Champ Gary Kasparov. Is that uh, Deep Blue? Yes. Mm. I, I remember so. hearing about that. Yeah. The Great Master. Yeah. My uh, my uh, my 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 client that I used to work for back when I was a uh, a home health aide, his brother was a chess master. Okay. And a champion. People would like once a year. He would sit down, and anyone people would fly across the world just to play and compete against him. That's cool. Yeah. We have in 1994 the Provisional Irish Republican Army, uh, Cien Fian, uh, uh, Pokemon Fian, uh, declared a ceasefire in Northern Ireland. Damn. Uh, and I. Probably. Fine. Yeah, I picked that up because we have someone who has some affiliation, you know, with the IRA in our server. We all yes, know we her. Do. Yep. Yep. Oh, no. Oh, man. I am... 1997, oh, okay. Diana, Princess of Wales, was murdered in a car crash in a road tunnel in Paris. You know what's really funny? I'm not kidding you. I was in South Dakota the day. I remember when I when I heard this news. I was in, I was in Sioux Falls, South Dakota with my dad. 
and I swear to God, I have really vivid dreams about things, and sometimes some would say they're eerie because some of my dreams happen. Like, like premonitions and such? Yeah, I actually, I shit you not, I wouldn't kid about this, but I had a dream a where dream. She, she was in it, and she and she and something happened to her, like, really bad. She mm. died in it. Damn. And then, and then, like, a day or two later, it was either the night before or two days before I had a dream, I was like, dude, that woman's gonna die. That's, that's <laughs> freaky, dude. <laughs> I said it to my dad, like, I had a dream she's gonna die. And he's like, no, nah, that's not gonna happen. And the next day, I wake up in a hotel room, and um, on the news, sure as shit, she died in a tunnel in a crash. You should have just, like, kicked the door open and just, like, walked in, I have a dream that Princess Die is gonna live up to her name. I don't think all my dreams have, like, any, a lot of worth and merit, but when they're repetitive, that's when I start to pay attention, and I had had that one for a few, a few times when I was a kid. Well, I was like, only, like... Crazy. Dude. Yeah. I was only ten and a half years old at that time. It was what? Twelve to thirteen, I can't remember. Yeah, well, you were born in eighty four. So uh, Yeah, my birthday is fastly approaching. It is. Yeah, it's a week from now. Another Ooh. year older. But see see Alice, no matter what you do, now you can't be the oldest person in the server anymore. Thank God. <laughs> yeah, now you now you know how I felt before I brought you back in. <laughs> Why do you think I brought yeah. you back in anyway? <laughs> I have no idea. It wasn't because of friendship or anything. You're no, 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 nothing like that, no. <laughs> oh, oh, good heavens, no, I'm an asshole. Uh, no, but, uh, Alice, you have a 1997 one here. What? What? What do Don I got? 1997. Don, Don Mattingly, 23, is retired by the New York Yankees. Ooh. Yeah, yeah, he was their poster boy for quite a while while they they didn't win like yeah. they didn't win much in the eighties until they won their first World Series again in nineteen ninety six. So he was like just their main guy for a long time. Don Mattingly. Don he, he kind of looks like a like a cousin to Patrick Swayze. Kind of, but Alice, you have a really interesting one. Nineteen ninety eight, unhighlighted, but it's blue. Oh, the like North Korea. Yeah. Oh, yeah, good luck, with, good luck with pronouncing that. <laughs> Kuang My Young Song. Alright, North Korea reportedly launches the Kuang My Young Song. Uh, launches Kuang My Young, My Young Song. It's for seven. <laughs> ha! I did say it. Kuang My Young yeah. Song. <laughs> yep. Kayong My Kayong My Way with Son. Kuang My Young Song. Kuang My Young Song. No, no. Okay. Yo, you get, get the reference? What? Carry yeah. on my wayward son. Ah. Uh, carry on my wayward, wayward son. Carry on my wayward son. Da, 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 da. Yeah, you gotta be from Kansas, don't you? <laughs> yeah. You have another yeah, one here, Alice. In 1999, we also have Fly, the fifth studio album by the Dixie Chicks, is released. Okay. And it was a Grammy Award Best Country Album of 2000 Billboard oh Album of the Year 2000. So uh, I, I remember one of the Dixie Chicks Ooh. got the hot water for criticizing Bush. Oh, this one's sad. Before um, we continue, though, like, uh, did you like you guys remember they renamed themselves to the Chicks? Yeah. They got rid of Dixie yeah. because of like Confederacy and shit. Like it's like oh, and then pretty soon they're just gonna be known as the. Because chicks, you know, is you know, oh, are you assuming our gender based on our band name? You know, well, we we're we're just for we are the band yeah. the formerly known as the Chicks, formerly known as the Dixie Chicks. We just oh, go by the. Are you now. trying to make a Prince reference? You can't you can't compare the Dixie Chicks to Prince, man. No, I, I was not making a Prince. But I, I yeah, was just well, going no, in general. You know, named as Prince. Oh, we just the symbol. Uh, yeah, I have, I have fingerprints, so. <laughs> That's a, that was such a good rebuttal, buddy. <laughs> I am going to be taking up a, uh, I am going to be giving up a, a really NHL sports history thing here, but I, for the, this other 1999 thing that happened, same day that the uh, Fly album comes out, unfortunately, something didn't fly. The uh -oh. LAP, the Lapa Boeing 737-200 crashes during takeoff from George Newberry Airport in Buenos Aires, killing 65, including two on the ground. Oh, that sucks. Yeah, I feel apparently they didn't fly. Brown. <laughs> they didn't fly like the two chicks did. Oh man! Wow. Okay, 1999. Dino. Sierra, Sierra, 
We tell us what you need to know. Sicarelli. Sicarelli, I'm sorry. Cicero! Yeah. <laughs> oh. oh, holy oh. shit. Before we. Make be before, before yeah. we. Oh, yeah, go ahead and take 99. Oh shit crap. 1999. The first of a series of apartment bombings in Moscow killing one person and wounding 40 others. Holy wow. shit. Jesus Christ. Yeah, I just saw that too. I was like, oh man, I hope you're reading that one. Yeah. Before we move that on into the next. Was pretty unlucky. Yeah. Before, yeah. before we move into the next millennium, I am going to do the split. Okay. We got to do the split. Do the split. And welcome back. We are in part Hello, two. Hello, everybody. Yes. Uh, so N is going to uh, uh, finish up his round here in 2003. I'm going to take you out into 2003. The <laughs> traditional senior men's golf reserve vineyard and golf club, Tom Watson wins his third of six championships toward the majors by one stroke ahead of Jim and Hearn and Tom Kite. Huh. Yeah, here comes the next one. Yeah. Oh, oh no. 2004. Pierce <laughs> Bush gives a speech to the Republic Convention. Hmm. It's just me, or does she look like a plain Jane? Like. Something is like the way her face looks in this picture does not give her justice. She's like. Or something, you know? She looked like she's she trying to. She look... does not know how to smile. No. No. She looks like she's trying to not look like she's high. <laughs> well, I didn't know the bush. The, the bush uh, had a twin, twin daughters. I forgot about that. I did not know. You need to get. You need to party. Wait a minute. To party a lot. Wait a minute. Hold on. The bush. Bush has uh, two daughters, and during his presidency, yeah. he lost two towers. Huh. That's a conspiracy Whoa. right there. Yeesh. Huh. Happy birthday! How about that? <laughs> Scott. Okay, now it's... <laughs> so what's the turn? Whoever's turn this is, you know. Scott's turn. Ooh. Have fun. Ooh. Great, Scott. 121 drink wash. Okay. <laughs> 2005. 62nd Venice Film Festival, Brokeback Mountain, directed by Ang Lee wins Golden Lion. Brokeback Mountain of all movies. Dang. Yeah. And that, uh, that, I was the, uh, that had, uh, the late, great, um, oh, why can't I remember his name? Heath Ledger. Thank you. Yeah. And Jake Gyllenhaal. Yeah. Well, Heath Ledger, you know, like, he, he played hands down the best joker like Joaquin Phoenix is a close second almost almost tying like right there you know and then there's Jack yeah. Nicholson he did a really yeah. good one but like yeah I'm, I'm gonna have to say if you wanna if you're gonna go strictly to like if you're gonna go for best joker if you're gonna include everything I'm gonna have to say Mark Hamill well for voice of yes course. for voice so yeah yeah. Actually, have you seen have you seen that clip where Mark Hamill in his Joker voice uh, says, "Why so serious?" No. Yeah, it's awesome. Put it I put it in Mike list or uh, so we can watch it uh, after the show. All right. While I'm doing that, Scott, uh, what happened in 2006? 2006. 23rd MTV Video Music Awards. Panic at the Disco. Kelly Clarkson and James Blunt win. Well, I remember them. I used to love uh, Panic at the Disco before they got all poppy. <laughs> Me too, yo. And uh, Kelly Clarkson won American Idol. She was like one of the first, if not she the, the first. first to win American Idol. Yep. yep. She has a talk show now. Mm. Apparently. Ooh, shit. Scott has another good one here. Also in 2006, stolen on August 22, 2004, Edvard Munch's famous painting, The Scream, is recovered from a raid by Norwegian police. The painting was said to be in a better than expected condition. <laughs> That's good. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, I remember, we were wow, talking look, about that, this. That, that, that painting is like self-explanatory of the whole situation. Yeah, I know, right? Help me! No! Help! I'm being kidnapped! Help me! Police! 
Police! Uh, this is a yeah, sad nine. Oh, man. Uh, what a sad My turn, the day right? The day that Yeah. Oh, it's fitting I get this on my turn. 2009? The Walt Disney Company announced it will require it will acquire Marvel Entertainment for four point twenty four billion dollars. So, I was actually surprised on this next one for a film premiere. I was surprised when I actually saw it, it was actually a fairly good movie. Uh, and I oh yeah, two thousand twelve Argo, which I have yet to see myself, directed by Ben Affleck and starring Ben Affleck, Brian Cranston, and John Goodman. That's a that's a hell of a lineup right there. Premiered at the Telerud Film Festival later to receive the Best Picture of 2013. I it was a this. really good movie, but there's a lot of stuff that was not depicted that really did happen. He, I think he couldn't for certain reasons, but it like it ended up becoming. A, it was a fairly good movie. I was actually really surprised how good it was. I was like, oh damn, it's actually a pretty good movie. I gotta see this. Yeah, it's so. worth watching. Oh mm -hmm. shit, snacks. Yes. No, no, no. First, go to 2012. Oh my god. This is a good one. Person in 2015, though. 2012, <laughs> Apple lost its patent dispute with Samsung in Tokyo, Japan. Good. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck Apple. Yeah. 2015, one of Xander's favorite persons. Oh, man. I can hear Snitsky uh, talking and laughing and cackling in the bedroom right now. Huh. Isn't he always laughing and cackling? No, he's like a witch. So he's always scared. He's yeah. always scared of something. Scared. Like, like, like Tim Shinsby is flying in the air on a on a uh, not on a broom, but on a, yeah. on a vacuum cleaner. And he's just like, I'm no, scared yeah. and I'm funny and philosophical. <laughs> I have grocery hands. On his flying <laughs> carpet. He's yeah. flying on a flying carpet. Yes, I can yeah. show you the world. <laughs> What up, CJ? But Alice, you have a 2015 here. CJ. Uh, I think it's technically yours. Uh, I've done my three. You, you, oh, you're just making it so I have to do it. No, I did the Walt Disney one in 2009. I did uh, 2012 Argo, and then I did a 2012 Apple Losses Patent. That's my three. Alice, Alice, Alice. Alice, Alice. <laughs> <Alice. laughs> Alright, so in 2015, we have President Obama officially redesignates Alaska's Mount McKinley as Denali, its Native American name. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. He also oh, saved that cool. he arrived in Alaska on a three day tour highlighting climate change. Oh, well, that's not cool. Also, on the same day as he arrived in Alaska, a violent protest in Kiev after Ukraine parliament vote one uh, vote leave one National Guard dead, a hundred injured. Wow. Yeah. So there's my three. Yep. Hey, you can count. Yep. Also, so, 19... I mean, 2016, Brazilian Senate votes to impeach President Dilma Rousseff, removing her from office. Good. Yeah. Oh, what did you do? I don't well, know. I wonder why. Why did they impeach her? Let me look. Dilma Rousseff. Yeah. Why was Dilma Rousseff impeached? Let's see here. Uh, here. <sighs> okay, let's see. I'll just have to. Okay, explained in 500 words. Wow, okay, that's a lot of words. Um, let's see here. Uh, 61 to 20 to remove her from office. Uh, let's see here. Uh, charges were about allegations that Rousseff cooked the government's books to hide the scope of Brazil's deficit problem during her 2014 re-election campaign. But they were really oh, about a bigger slate of problems in Brazil. Most importantly, something called the uh, Petrobras scandal. So there's a whole thing. Uh, wow. So, like, uh, upward of $5.3 billion changing hands. Holy shit. Wow. <laughs> So, so Han, I was gonna say, uh, and uh, there's a, uh, it's black, but it's between the film premiere and uh, that historic event, 2017, of uh, the migration thing. I had a delete. Uh, I, I was a... going for that too, but first thing first, 2017 indications that Netherlands were the first to make glue out of a tar strengthened by research published in scientific reports. Wow. Damn. Yeah. That reminds me so, of. Oh. 
That reminds me of a meme where like someone's like, "Hey, I bet if we if we uh, cut off this horse's feet, melted them down, we can use that to stick things together." And someone's like, "Uh, Frank, is everything okay at home?" <laughs> Who the hell thinks about making glue from horses? I uh, know. Also, yeah, two thousand seven. Uh, oh, no, never mind. Oh. Oh, sorry. Hold up. So, hang on. Go ahead. Also, 2017, International Organization for Migration states 18,500 Rohingya Muslims have fled from violence in Myanmar, Rakhine State, after 110 deaths marking, making for Bangladesh. So, they are running to Bangladesh. Yes. Damn. Yeah. 18,500. That's a lot of people. So... Yes. That's like a caravan coming through America every day. Yeah. Yeah. I'm yeah. just kidding. Whose turn was it for 2018? I've completely lost it. It's turn. now Scott's turn. Yeah. Scott! Woo! Okay. 2018, a Star is Born film yeah. remake directed by and starring Bradley Cooper and Lady Gaga premieres at the Venice Film Festival. Hmm. Lady Gaga. Lady Gaga. Uh, oh, Star is Born. I've heard that Holy before. Shit. Yeah. 2019. It's a pretty sad movie, but whatever. Oh, no, it's oh, sad, shit. but whatever. Yeah, look, at that. look at this 2018 one right there. Wow. Yeah, Scott, you should take that next 2018. 19 year old Indonesian boy rescued after 49 days float when he's. When his floating fish trap became adrift. Wow, that's some survival story right there. Wow. Yeah. Holy shit. Yeah, another, I got 2019 here. 49 days. How did he survive that? Uh, I mean, <laughs> like, fishing? yeah, from fish and, like, you know, you don't drink the seawater. Well, where was it adrift, though? Like, was it in freshwater or salt water? Yeah. Indonesia. Indonesia. Uh, probably in the ocean. Okay. That makes sense. Yeah, Damn, she's nineteen gets sad. He's, he's also only a teenager still. Yeah, well, nineteen years old. You know, you're 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 pretty up there in age. You know, as far as like maturity and everything. Like, you're not a kid, so. Yeah. All right. You can't even buy tobacco products at nineteen anymore. Uh, not here. Nope. You can't. Nope. Well, speaking you can of nineteen, get killed for your country. Yeah. You know, you used to be able to. When I was younger, it was still eighteen. No, the federal government just recently made it like a uh, nationwide where it's you got to be 21 to purchase tobacco yeah. products. Yep. Actually, like <laughs> back in my dad's day, the voting age used to be 21, but uh, they changed that because they did have the draft. You know, like you know, we're talking Vietnam and everything. And so, how can you get drafted at 18 and not even be able to have the to you know the right to vote? You know, for another three years. You know, like that's not right. You know. So we got rid of that. We reduced the age to 18 from 21. So, but Scott, you have another. You have a 2019 one here that's uh, uh, pretty yeah. dark. Well, oh wow. Which one? Uh, well, starting with the first one in blue, but the next one is crazy as well. So, yeah, it is. So a gun, a gunman kills seven and injures 22 during high-speed chase in Odessa, Texas. Wow. That's a lot of nuts. Yeah, that's uh, yeah. that was just three years ago. Holy crap! Yeah. And uh, take the other 2019 here, India. India removed citizenship status from 1.9 million people in state of Assam, leaving them off its new national register of citizens. That's evil. How do you kick out? That's a two... lot. Of, that's a lot of people. That's, yeah. That's a whole lot of. Yeah, that's like. That's borderline start of a start of a holocaust right there, you know. You're getting rid of you know, citizenship status. Do the next 2019 is sad. Uh, the only thing I can say is like it removes the citizen the citizenship, so maybe they were there illegally or something. Well, yeah, they oh, are no. now, but they no, like they, they used to be citizens, and then they made them non-citizens. So, uh. dude. The like the next next three 2019s are epic. All right, I'll take uh, the rest of 2019. 2019, we have a major truck crash during Formula Two race at Spa Fran Francor Champs, 
in Belgium and killed uh, Antheon Hubert and critically injured Juan Manuel Correa. Or Cor Correa. That's a Correa? Correa. Correa. Yeah. <laughs> that was a sad, that's a sad uh, yeah. death, but... Also in 2019, Minnesota Twins smashed six home runs in a 10-7 loss to the Tigers in Detroit. This broke MLB record by hitting 268th home run of the season. Wow. Thank you, Minnesota Twins. Minnesota. Minnesota. I thought you were from Wisconsin. <laughs> oh, shit. And then 20, <laughs> 2019, oh, U.S. Shit. missile attack again. in Al-Qaeda. Uh, oh, she left. Uh... Jihadist training camp in uh, Idlib <laughs> province, Syria, killed 40. Alice, you vanished. How dare you? How dare you? <laughs> oh, were you just pretending to rage quit? Yeah. Oh. oh. <laughs> you can do the last uh, three. Wait. Yeah, Alice, uh, take the last three here to two 2020s and the 2021s. 20 yeah. <laughs> uh, we lost Scott. Points, too? Okay. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Scott. Solid here. <laughs> Alright, Senior Akon lays first stone for Akon City Futuristic Solar Power City to be built in Saint Senegal. Sen Senegal? Senegal, Saying yeah. Live version of Wakanda in Black Panther. Wow, that is... <laughs> That's both cool and stupid at the same time. Like Akon Singer? Yeah, okay. All right, we also have, uh, in 2020, U.S. cases of COVID-19 passed 6 million with 183,300 deaths, with California 699,000, Florida 619,000, recording the most, uh, according to John Hopkins. That's, but, that's not something I would like my state to lead in the numbers with, but okay. So... Well, also you do understand, like, a Minnesota came out with uh, our uh, guy, he was basically our director of health or whatever, he said that they were told to, like, mark COVID deaths even with a car accident and it wasn't related. Yeah, no, so, like, I've spoken, like, years ago, like, just, like, you know, a year or so ago, like, I spoke in some other voice chat, you know, some other Discord server with this guy who was a, at the time, he was a practicing emergency room doctor, and, like, among the stories, like, there's one that's still ingrained in my mind. There's someone who came in, like, you know, not not on his own accord, obviously, because he got hit by a truck, and then he uh, he later died of the injuries, and then he marked it as COVID. Like, how the fuck is getting hit by a truck a COVID death? You know? Like, are you kidding me? Because he had COVID when he died, oh. probably. He was positive for COVID. Yeah. Is what they said. Even though that wasn't the reason he died, they marked it down as that. Minnesota came out, like, saying that, but nobody listened. Yeah. Well, I mean, like, you know, the same thing. Like, you know, uh, every time, like... <laughs> Like, uh, like testing, like every time they test, they get money, you know, like, and, and think about it. If you go in and you test and, you, and then you test positive, they tell you to go back home. Like, like, what are you doing? You know, you're not doing anything. They can't do anything. So just, you know, if you're sick, stay home, you know, and then that's not just for COVID. That's anything. If you have the flu, if you have the mumps, you know, if you have, like, you know, any, any like illness, stay the fuck at home, you know? So... Yeah, it's common sense. And then we end with uh, 2021, 36-year-old Cristiano Ronaldo is confirmed as a Manchester United player for a second time when his transfer from uh, Juventus is ratified. Ronaldo left United in 2009 to rejoin Real Madrid eventually. Oh. It reminds me of the football hooligans from uh, Euro Trip. Oh, God, yeah, yeah. I love them. Opening up beer with his eyes, like, Psh, oh. yeah. yeah. Oh, oh. Not. Hey, oh. Can I start? Can I start birthdays off real quick? Uh, yes. Um, let's uh, go ahead. Jump on up in the it, verse. Start us off. Ooh, wow. Okay. Yeah. And, and 12 AD, Caligula, Gaius Caesar, third Roman emperor, 37 to 41 AD, born in Anzio, Italy, died at the age of 41. Interesting. Oh, there's another one here for you. I'm just going to do Ooh. one, because I closed the last three, so you can start us off. Well, uh, no, you get two. You know, uh, first test, we go okay. two by two. Oh, all right, then. Well, in 161 AD, Commodus, the Roman emperor, he was also born today in Lanuvian, Italy. He was an emperor from what years? Uh, From 180 to 192 AD. So, and and uh, he died. The, uh, he died in uh, 192 AD. 
Huh. Yeah. Yes. Okay, so yeah. Okay. And they only have a bust of him. They don't even have a picture. It's just yeah. a sculpture. Isn't also, Commodus... Hold on a second. Isn't Commodus like the, uh, the Emperor or something? One of the characters from Gladiator? Yep. Yeah. Commodus. Yep. Yeah, so he was the bad Emperor, right? Or was he the one who got, like, who died oh, before? He was the one that killed by, uh, by his son, yeah. Okay, yeah, so he was the good guy. Yeah, he was a good guy. He wanted to give power back to the people and to the uh, Senate. Yeah. Also, 1870, Maria Montessori. Oh. Sorry. Italian educator, spontaneous response, born in Chia Reveal, Marque, Italy. She, she she's actually on the Italian bill, like what? the money. She, let's let she's Sohan, on money. Let's let Sohan finish up his article here. Mm -hmm. He died in 1952. And, so, yeah, she died in 1952. Yep. But basically, uh, you know what monasteries? Yeah, They're the named schools. After. The schools. Yeah, They're named I have, after. Mm -hmm. I actually have Italian money with her picture on it. She was on the Italian bills. That's cool. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. Also, 18... No, 1879, Yoshihito Tashiro... Uh, 123rd Emperor of Japan, 1929 to 1926, born in Osaka Palace, Tokyo City, Japan, died 1926. Okay. So wait a minute, he, they were an emperor from 1929 through 1926. Their their reign was negative three years. That's weird. Well, no, you know, 1912. You also picked up. You missed up. Uh, this, uh, 1871 was actually pretty interesting. All right. Well, 1871, we have James E. Ferguson, a American Democratic politician and Texan governor from 1915 through 17, born in Salado, no, Texas, dying in 1944. Huh. And then we have. Will Helma. So 1880, Will Helmina of the Netherlands was born on this date. She was a queen of the Netherlands from 1890 through 1948. That's a long time. Uh, born what? in Norindia Palace, the Hague in we Netherlands. Talked about her, we talked about her in the main body. We did. She celebrated her jubilee. Oh, yeah. yeah, her jubilee. The golden jubilee was on her birthday. The golden jubilee. Yeah, she died in 1962. So. Yeah. Okay. She was 82 years old. That's not bad. So... Uh, Alice's turn. No, it's Scott. Scott's turn. Scott's turn. Sorry. I got Scott uh, messed up. All right. Hold on. Oh, wow. Yeah, I sent it to you. Um, oh. Sorry, what year were you? Uh, 1897. All right. Oh, cool. 1897, Frederick March, American actor of Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde, The Best Years of Our Lives, born in Racine, Wisconsin, died in 1975. Ah, good old Racine. Yep. Another one. <laughs> Another one. DJ Khalid. Oh, damn. Sex. <laughs> Mm -mm. Scott. Oh, shoot. 1903, buddy. All right. Oh, dude, I'm doing this again. Uh, 1903. Arthur okay. Godfrey? 19, yeah, 1903, Arthur Godfrey, American radio and TV host, Arthur Godfrey's talent scout. Born in New York City, New York, died in 1983. Oh, so 80 years. Now it's Alice's turn. I apologize for the delay. It's all right. It's okay. We got 1907. We have Roman Maxese, the seventh president of the Philippines. He was Legion of Merit, 1952, born in Iba, Zambale, Philippines, and died in 1957. Huh. I was uh, I was like, how are you gonna pronounce that? Mag say say. That's easier to say than it looks. So. Mag say say. Yep. 
Oh, there's an astronomer here too. In 1913, Bernard Lovell, English radio astronomer, founded the Jodrell Bank Observatory, born in Old Oldland Common in Bristol, died in 2012. Oh, that's but cool. yeah, Lovell. Yeah, he was a yeah. famous astronomer. Huh. Oh, yeah, I've heard of Lovell. Yeah, that's right. There's like a Lovell telescope or something, right? Yeah, they have a Lovell radio telescope. Yeah, okay, that's why I've heard that name. <laughs> so, hey. Yeah. Your turn. Uh, okay, uh. 1918, Alan J. Lehner, American Tony and Academy Award winning lyricist with Frederick Lehner. My Fair Lady, Gigi, and Camelot. Uh, Camelot. Born in New York City, New York. Died 1986. Yeah, Camelot. You got it right the first Camelot. time. <coughs> Not Camelot. Camelot. My Fair Lady, Camelot. I knew. Oh, my God. <laughs> Gee. Also, uh... <coughs> Are you going to make it? Yeah, I'm going to make yeah. it. Okay. Nineteen uh, thirty one John Bevelo, uh Canadian Hockey Hall of Fame Center Art Trophy nineteen fifty six and nineteen sixty four Art Ross Trophy nineteen fifty six Con Smith Trophy nineteen sixty five Record seventeen Stanley Cup born in Trios Revere's Quebec died two thousand fourteen. I actually had one for you in uh, 1930. It was Dudley Big Tiny. What? Okay, go ahead and read it. In 1930, Dudley Big Tiny, Little Junior, who was an American pianist at uh, the Lawrence Welk Show. He was born in Worthington, Minnesota, and died in 2010. Yep. And by the way, to anybody listening, uh, she said pianist, not penis. You kind of said that a little fast. So. <laughs> pianist. <laughs> pianist. <laughs> Yeah, he was a cool player, but yeah. Penis. A penis. penis. A penis. penis. <laughs> <laughs> well, that, that would say that would mean that he's a flute player. So anyway, uh, whose turn is it? A skin flute player. Oh, Alice. God. Damn it. <laughs> 1940, uh, 1935, we have Frank Robinson, a U.S. Baseball Hall of Fame outfielder and a manager, 14-time MLB All-Star, National League MVP of 1961, American League MVP of 1966, World Series of 1966 and 70 for the Baltimore Orioles. Born in Beaumont, Texas, dying in 2019. Beaumont. Beaumont, Beaumont, whatever. Beaumont. You know what? I didn't pronounce Orioles as Orioles, so get off my back. <laughs> it's the Areola. It's the Areolas. Oh my god. The Areolas. God. What? So, so, like, so does that change the term from pinch hitter? You know, you're pinching something. <laughs> then we have. <laughs> then we have 1949 Richard Gere, a U.S. actor for Breathless, Cotton Club, Pretty Woman, born in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Still alive today. Happy birthday, Richard Gere. Richard Gere. Yep. Yeah, he he went gray like in his twenties, dude. Dang. <laughs> I think the last movie I saw him like where he had like brown hair, and I think at then he was actually dying. It mm. was uh, was a uh, not was a uh, oh not what was it uh an officer and a gentleman. Speaking of dying hair, uh, I heard and, 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 you know the other day, and I heard the day before that actually. Um, that uh, Elvis Presley is naturally blonde. He he dyed his hair black because it made him look more sexy and shit. So, yep. Anyway, speaking of uh, speaking of sexy individuals, Scott, it's your turn. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh <my> God. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> really? I had no idea, Xander. That's how you felt. <laughs> uh... <laughs> 1956. Tsai Ing-wen. Taiwanese. He was the president of the Republic of China, the Democratic Progressive Party from 2016 on, born in Taipei, Taiwan. 
Yeah, so she's the current president of the Republic of... Uh, oh. 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 Seventh president, but wait. Oh, no, the Democratic Progressive Party. So she's still in the party, but she's not the president. I don't know. Hmm. Yeah. I don't know. Uh, another Who one, Scott. Great, Scott. Yes. 1974 Mark Webb American Music Video TV and Film Director of 500 Days of Summer The Amazing Spider-Man from 2012-2014 Reboot Andrew Garfield Born in, yeah. born in he, Bloomington, Indiana What about Garfield? The uh, Andrew Garfield Spider-Man Yeah, he was the actor yeah. so. Oh, so he did 500 Days of Summer That makes sense yeah. why that uh, remake with that one guy that like flopped where they tried to like replace Tobey Maguire with a new guy that's why it sucked. Yeah. I mean, 500 Days of Summer was a good movie for what it was, but, like, I just don't see, like, going from that to, uh, The Amazing Spider-Man. Yeah. Garfield was, man, Garfield was okay as Spider-Man. He was alright. No. Yeah. I, I did like him Toby in the new where he comes back, he comes back and he adjusts uh, Tobey Maguire's back because, like, they're making a play, like, remember when Tobey Maguire lost his powers and he was yeah. spider-webbing and he yeah. went down and just, like, crashed oh, against the car. Oh, my back! Oh, my back! Yeah! Yeah, yeah Garfield, he ends up, uh, fucking, like, adjust, like, cracking his back for him in the fucking new yeah. Spider-Man. Yeah. It's also, pretty serious. Also, he did get a, he did get a redemption. He did save Mary MJ. Yeah, he did save MJ. So, I mean, he did get redemption. Speaking of uh, <laughs> speaking of people with bad backs, Alice, it's your turn. Uh, shut the fuck up with my back. <laughs> hey, we got 1975. We have a Takahiro Sua. He was a Japanese professional wrestler. Was born today. Ooh. Huh. Yeah. Oh shit. Also today, in 1977, Jeff Hardy. His birthday is today. Mm. From the Hardy Damn. family. Another wrestler. Yeah. Yeah, and Jeff, Jeff and Matt Hardy. Mm. Yeah, Matt and Jeff Hardy. Yeah, Jeff Hardy, the older brother. Yeah. I think, right? Yep. And what, yep. was he, what was he again? They he aren't was... really brothers. They aren't actually brothers in real life, I don't think. Mm. But, yeah, they yeah. are. They are. They are real brothers. No. They're real brothers. They're wrestlers. They are real brothers. They're wrestlers, yeah. Yeah, they're wrestlers, but they are real brothers in real life. Yeah, Matt and Jeff Hardy are actual brothers. So, um, but, um, yeah, today's his birthday. I hope he, uh, gets his problem solved because he was just released again recently, I think, from AEW or wherever, so. Yeah. I'm pretty sure he just got hit for a, drinking like, and a, driving. Yeah, he, drinking and driving. Yeah, drinking and driving. Yeah, but he's still, like, you know, he's still, oh. Whose yeah. turn is it, 1985? Yeah. Me. Okay. 1985, Mohammed Ben... Salman, Crown Prince of Saudi Arabia 2017, and current, uh, and Saudi Defense Minister 2015, and current, born in Riyadh, Saudi Arabia. Ah. Mmm, happy birthday, buddy. Yep. Yeah. Ooh, he's one Don't year younger than you. Off. Don't piss him off. He'll uh, have you executed. Yep. Let's and see, uh, uh no, yeah. I can go one more. Uh, okay. let's see. Uh, 1987, Petros Karavitis, Greek footballer. Hmm. Still living. Yeah. Moving on to the desk, and let's uh, let's have some organization here. Um, Alice, you started off again, then me, then so in, then Scott, and then we'll go in a cycle here. All right. Okay. Well, Today in history, on us, we have in 1422, Henry V, King of England, from 1413 to 22, and France, 1416 to 19, dies at 36 after being weakened by dysentery and a heat stroke. Yeah. Ooh, too deadly. Yeah. Oh, God. Yeah, but Alice, can you get the very first one at 651? Oh, 651, yeah. Yeah. We have St. Aidan of Lynn Lucifer, uh, Irish bishop and miss missionary. Ah. He's today, too. Yeah. Moving on up into 1688, we lost John Bunyan. He was an English minister and an author. The Pilgrim's Progress died at the age of 59. What? Bunyan. Yeah, it looks like, uh, Bunyan. 
What? Not to be mistaken with Paul Bunyan. Yeah, no. What were you saying, Soen? He looks like Mickey Rourke. Yeah, he's a... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Before or after his fucking plastic surgery? After. Like, oh like his first... It looks like his first plastic surgery. Mickey. Oh, damn, here you go. You got a good one here, too, Xander. In 1814. 1814, we have Arthur Phillip. He was a British admiral. He was the first governor of New South Wales from 1788 through 92, and he died at the age of 75. That's a cool hat. I want that hat, you know? 1818 is kind of cool. Yeah. So, ooh, wow. Oh, this person again, okay. Okay, uh... 1818, Arthur St. Clair, American soldier and politician, president of the Continental Congress. 18, no, 1787, died at 81. Oh, wow. Yeah. Let's see, see what else. Yeah, 1888. No. 1986. I mean, 1969, Mary Ward, Irish scientist and first automobile accident victim. Oh, wow. Holy shit. What? 1869. 1869. 1860. Yeah. So had misread it as 19. So. Yeah, that's what I thought. I was like, what? Whoa. Yeah, 1869. Mary Ward. <laughs> I mean, Irish scientist, first automobile accident victim. So, the first automobile accident victim was a woman. Hmm. How stereotypical. <laughs> I am a woman at that. <laughs> yeah. Well, but, uh, okay. so, and you have an 1888 here, speaking of uh, famous women. 1888, Mary Ann Nichols, English prostitute and first victim of Jack the Ripper, found stabbed to death in London at 42. Dang. Scott! <laughs> 1969, Rocky Marciano, American boxer, undefeated world heavyweight champion from 1952 to 1956, dies in a plane crash at 45. That's uh, awesome. Dang. Yes. Ooh. Was it, did we see, did we read a plane crash in uh, 1969? Uh, we read a plane crash earlier, but I'm not sure if it's the same one. It's uh, not. I don't think it's hell. Yeah. Uh, back to back, Scott. 73 here. 1973, John Ford, American director of Stagecoach and The Searchers, dies at 78. Both great movies. Mm. Yeah. I have not seen either of them. I gotta, I gotta really watch yeah. more movies. What? Hey, Alice. Uh, hang on. I'm just looking and seeing. All right. And if you look Alice, at the, Alice, 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 Alice. All right, well, Alice. Here's a, we have a death uh, at 85 here. Uh, he, he got a Noble PC Prize for PC. physiology or medicine for tissue grafting. Frank McFarlane, Burnett, Australian virologist. Uh, he died at the age of 85 today. Hey. Uh, why don't you uh, skip on ahead to 97? Because I know you're going to want this article. I saw that and I thought it was fun. Oh, yeah, we got Princess Diana, or known as Diana Spencer, English Princess of Wales, dies in a car crash in Paris at the age of 36. I am actually a year older than her. Yep. Right now. Yep. All right. Moving on up into. 2020, just last year, we have Tom Seaver, was a U.S. Baseball Hall of Fame pitcher for the New York Mets, National League Cy Young Award of 69, 73, and 75. He's also a 12-time Major League Baseball All-Star. He died of Lewy body dementia in COVID-19 at 75. Bullshit, COVID-19. Wow. So he, so he got, he got, he got the uh, Tinshitsby disease. Yes. <laughs> he, he, he caught the Shitsby. So. He caught the Shitsby, unfortunately. He caught the Shitsby. <laughs> and then 2021, just last year, what? we lost Michael Constantine, or uh, Iononidis. He was an American actor, room 222, Mr. Kaufman. Don't drink the water in my big fat Greek wedding. Oh, 
dies at age 94. So was he? He must, been so, the, he must have been the father with the Windex. I was just about to say he must have been the, the dad guy. Uh, looks like him. Yeah. He used to live in Maine. Really? Yeah, he's from Reading. Oh, he's from yeah, he's from Reading, Pennsylvania, just south of here for me. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, look him up real quickly. I want to see this. Yeah, uh, Joe is just saying he's from Reading. So. Uh, what was his name again? Uh, Louis Michael Constantine. Michael Constantine. Oh, yeah, yep, that's him. Yeah. Uh, let's see here, Wikipedia, yeah, it said, oh wow, he was born and he died in Reading. Uh, he was born and died in Reading, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, he was the Gypsy and Thinner, too. Uh, that, uh, Stephen King book. That they made old man. Uh, yeah, he's the one that makes a guy thinner, he does a little hand swipe. Uh, That's right, yeah. Good, go good catch there, Joe. I love Michael Michael Constantine, yeah, he was uh, he was pretty well known. I liked him in my big fat Greek wedding too. Yeah. The more you know. The more you know. And that Jack concludes the show. Once like again, you can Trump. check the underbar for any links that you may find interesting, including but not limited to everything Omni Coalition, so as well as yep. So in TV, on Twitch. Yep. Uh, for all of you and all of us, we stream every day at ten in the morning Pacific time. 1, 1 p.m. Eastern yeah. time. 12 central. Yep. Uh, for your dose of past events daily, I am A.O. Xander. I am Scott. Oh, I'm going to trouble myself. And I am who is Alice. Yep. And you viewer, of course, are you. And until you catch us tomorrow, don't forget to look right and left at every intersection. Rate five thumbs and subscribe. Until then, toodles. Let's go, Brandon. Let's go, Brandon.